We are going to intersect a circle and a line. We already have the equation for the line. Uh, we don't have the equation for the circle, but we do have the information about the circle and they already told us recall the equation for a circle. So let's recall the equation by writing it down. X minus H squared plus Y minus K squared equals R squared. Radius is three, so we have three squared. Center is zero, two. X minus zero is just X. Y minus two squared equals three. All right, so this is the equation of our circle. So we're gonna intersect. with the line y equals x plus two. Now this is a line in mx plus b form. The slope is one, the y-intercept is two. However, we're only gonna be doing algebra here, so we don't really need to worry about what the graph would look like. All right, so we gotta intersect that equation and this uh, equation. There's a few ways to do it. Substitution and elimination are the most popular methods. Uh, elimination works great when you have everything to the first power, but we have some squares here, and what we're gonna do is substitution. So we're gonna solve one equation for one variable and plug it into the second equation. So I could solve for x here, it's not super hard, uh, but, uh, and I could solve for y right here, Less, even less fun to do that. I could solve for x over here, that's easy. However, there's a very clear, easy choice. Ah, oh, look, we'll solve for y. Well, y is already solved for, and it's x plus two. So we're gonna take this x plus two and plug it in where we see x. Oh, nope, we're gonna plug it in where we see y. We're gonna substitute out y and replace y with x plus two. Okay. So that y is gonna become x plus two. There's still that minus two. So all I did is I took out y and replaced it with x plus two. Now, this is very nice, we have x plus two minus two, so those actually cancel out, and I believe on your problem they will too. They may not both be twos, but they should cancel out. Now I did try a previous version of this, and there was a coefficient in front of this x squared. Uh, I don't have a coefficient in front of the x squared. Uh, so I'm gonna put one there, which is a one, and there's a one in front of that x squared. Uh, I'm gonna factor x squared out. So we have x squared factored out. Uh, the other version of this that I tried, I got one half squared, which is a quarter. So I got one plus a quarter. So just be a little uh, careful, your coefficient may not be one here but whatever they are, you can add the coefficients together. One plus one is two. Two x squared e equals three squared. Of course I can, three squared is nine. Uh, actually I'm gonna leave it as three squared. You'll see why in a few minutes. All right, when you're doing algebra, you're gonna go up the PEMDAS ladder uh, whenever you're in doubt. We don't have any more addition subtraction to do, but we do have multiplication division before, we're gonna take care of that before exponents. So I'm gonna unmultiply by two, or multiply by a half. You could also divide by two, that's fine. So x squared is three squared over two. Last step, square root. Uh, we can distribute the square root to the numerator and denominator, and that property would be a over b to the c power equals a to the c over b to the c. It also works multiplication. a times b to the c power is a to the c times b to the c, and this does not work 
if you have addition right here. It only works for us in this case because we're multiplying. It also works uh, when we're dividing. Okay, so we're almost there. Why did I distribute this square root? Because three squared square root is just regular three. There is a square root two in the denominator. Uh, there is a plus or minus that I'm gonna deal with now. Let's go back up and look uh, in the first quadrant. So I haven't talked about the names of the quadrants yet. We'll talk about that next class. Uh, the quadrants go one, uh, two, three, and my least favorite Roman numeral, four. Uh, quadrant one is here. Everybody's positive in quadrant one is the point. So we're gonna go with the positive uh, version right there. This is the x value or the x coordinate of our solution. I wanna now find, I need the point. which of course is an x, y value pair, or an ordered pair. So our x is square, uh, three over square root two. We can use either of these equations circled. The easiest equation is y equals x plus two. So we're gonna use that. So our x value is three over square root two. And that's all there is to do to get the y value. And we'll put them together. You may have been trained to never have square roots in the denominator. It actually doesn't matter. If we were going to buy this many gallons of paint, you would be turning it into a decimal and then probably rounding up and it wouldn't matter uh, if you use this or if you rationalize your denominator. So we're not gonna spend any time rationally, rationally